this is going to be a quick update video to let you know what's going on about the eclipse event and our gathering to watch it. Um, I'm going to start here in chapter 3 of the book of Jonah. And this is about Jonah going to Nineveh. Uh, please pay attention. And the word of the Lord came into Jonah the second time, saying, this is chapter 3, Arise, go unto Nineveh, that great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. So Jonah arose and went unto Nineveh, according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days' journey. That means it took three days to walk through the city. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey, and he cried and said, Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. That's very important, forty days. Uh, there's a lot of forty days in the Bible, and they pretty much all have to do with a kind of judgment. So the people of Nineveh believed God and proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them even to the least of them. For the word came unto the king of Nineveh, and he arose from his throne. He laid his robe from him, from him and covered him with sackcloth and sat in ashes. And he caused it to be proclaimed and published through Nineveh by the decree of the king and his nobles, saying, let neither man nor beast, herd nor flock, taste anything. Let them not feed nor drink water. But let man and beast be covered with sackcloth and cry mightily unto God. Yea, let them turn every one from his evil way, from the violence that is in their hands. Who can tell if God will turn and repent, and turn away from his fierce anger, that we perish not? And God saw their works that they turned from their evil way and repented of the evil that he had said that he would do unto them, and he did it not. So, forty days is the decree uh, that you're given from the sun. Now, the sun and the moon, Genesis 1, on the fourth day, God created the sun and the moon for signs and for seasons. And eclipses are the biggest sign. It, it seems all these rituals, uh, even the Super Bowl, it was a huge eclipse ritual. Anytime you see the Star of David or the story of the fire and ice, uh, that those two triangles intertwined, uh, that's an eclipse. That's the sun of triangle pointed up and the moon, a triangle pointed down on top of each other. And now different uh, cultures, religions, uh, they teach, have different teachings on the eclipse. And we're going to go over all of that uh, at the event. Uh, we've about got our venue locked down. Uh, there are ten rooms at Hootie, for, at Hootie Creek for us. Uh, if you go on the website, it's going to tell you they have none available. That's because they've been put aside for us. You'll have to call Hootie directly to make your um, arrangements if you want to stay there. I'm going to be staying at the State Park up uh, just right outside of Tallahena. Uh, I'll be there for at least three days. A day before, the day during, and the day after. Uh, we're trying to lock down a venue hall that can get us up to 200 people. Uh, we will be selling tickets if you just want to come for the day. A ticket will uh, allow you entrance into the hall, uh, uh, guarantee you a seat, uh, get you glasses to watch the eclipse, uh, a, a minimum of a two-hour lecture, uh, drinks and refreshments to keep you um, hydrated while you sit through my spiel. And uh, we're going to go over it all. It's even going to give you a special hat that's going to help you be identified in the crowd. So if we get lost, we can identify each other. Uh, and the cost is going to help cover the venue, the cleaning, and uh, all the little perks, refreshments, the glasses, and all of that. Uh, 
and guarantee you a spot. Guarantee you a chair, anywhere, somewhere to sit during this. You're welcome to bring your phones or cameras and record it. If there's someone who's got a nice camera set up and would like to record the whole thing so that we can put it on YouTube, I would be grateful for that. Uh, what else do I want to tell you? Uh, we don't have very long left. It's less than two months away now. Now, what I want to tell you about this eclipse that's different and why I'm reading you Jonah uh, after his three days and three nights in the belly of the well and his going to Nineveh is that this eclipse is going to pass through eight towns named Nineveh. Uh, Nineveh, Texas. Nineveh, Missouri. Nineveh, Indiana. Nineveh, Ohio. Nineveh, Pennsylvania. Nineveh, Virginia. Nineveh, New York. And Nineveh, Nova Scotia. And if that's not a warning of Nineveh, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. Uh, but we're going to go over each one of those towns uh, and uh, talk about them. We're going to cover the whole thing. I'm going to go over it all. All the symbolism, all the meaning, uh, all the 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 Aleph and the mutable cross that's going to be painted across America with these three eclipses and what that means. Uh, we're going to cover everything in the presentation that we're going to do on the eclipse. I hope a lot of you come. Uh, even if it's just for the day, even if you don't want to stay the night and you just want to come for the event, we'll really be glad to have you. Uh, there's going to be a lot going on in Tallahena. We're, to, we're starting to learn more that there's going to be a lot of vendors there. There'll be people selling food and all kind of stuff. So there's going to be more available to us than we were actually aware. But I'm going to cover all the bases for us. I'm going to make sure that uh, we have a place to be. We have a place we can gather. I've got somebody going up the day before that's going to secure our spot on the top of the mountain so that we can all be up there. Uh, and we're going to get a really good spot. We're going to lock down one that guarantees us bathrooms, uh, a place to sit in the shade if we need to, and uh, parking. Hopefully, a lot of us can carpool from Tallahena. It's about 10, 15 minutes from Tallahena where we'll be going. Uh, I suggest those of you who want to camp, I will be in the state park uh, right outside of Tallahena. And uh, if you want to be there with me, I'll be there for three days. And I'm, I'm just going to stay at the park. They have showers and bathrooms and everything that you need there. Uh, what else? do I want to tell you? Let me pause for a second and get my ducks in a row. Oh yes, I want to uh, give a really big thank you to those of you who donated to my last video. I'm a bit overwhelmed. Um, one of you gave me a very generous donation and I have my vehicle back on the road. I'm a legal eagle. Ironically enough, no sooner than I've got it insured and tagged and everything, and I realize I'm riding around on Maypop, so I haven't bought tires since I bought the vehicle. Uh, so I'm needing new tires, <laughs> and uh, I'm scared to take it out of town right now, but I'm going to make arrangements this week to do that. Uh, so it feels really good to be independent. Uh, Having your own vehicle kind of gives you, a, especially at my age, it kind of gives you a sense of independent independence. I also have more good news. One of my biggest problems that I've had for quite a while now, for a number of years, has finally resolved itself. There's actually good things about becoming a senior citizen. Huh. I was finally able to get a bank account without putting down a thousand dollar deposit. I got a senior account and I'm incredibly happy about that because I spend a lot of fees uh, just banking online every time you swipe your card two dollars everything has a transaction uh, fee attached to it and all of that's over for me 
I know I can accept checks now, money orders, anything. I actually have a place to deposit it. I can actually walk to the bank from my house if I needed to. So that's quite incredible. Uh, I have been, even in uh, Las Vegas, I couldn't get an account. Uh, I, ha I don't have good credit. I don't have any credit to start with. It's not that I have bad credit. I have no credit. Uh, I've always been uh, buy used, pay cash. If you don't got the money, don't buy it. I'm not one that's ever bought anything on credit. So uh, I just d d didn't have any. Uh, even when they pulled up to open this account, the closest address they could come up with was 25 years old that I literally can't even be found in the system. So uh, I had to jump through a few hoops that they helped me with uh, to actually verify and be able to get the account because I don't have a smartphone and I don't want one. Uh, and I'm, I'm very grateful that I don't have one, actually. Uh, it just is... It, I don't like to be tracked. I don't like the phone ringing 24-7. My problem with phones was back when we had landlines. It terrified me. Every time the phone rang, I knew that it was somebody that wanted something from me. Nobody ever called me to say, Hey, how are you doing? Just checking in. Missing you. None of that. It was always, I need help. Can you do this for me or that for me? So it got really old for me, and I just have a bad vibe and view about phones. If you want to see me or need me, come see me. We'll talk face to face. So I have tried to avoid phones at all costs, if possible. And I really don't have anybody to talk to anyway. My life is just me. All right. Uh, pulling everything together. Trying to get the Patreon account up and going. And uh, I'm going to be doing some interviews between now and the Eclipse. Uh, these will not be for Patreon. They will be for YouTube. But we're going to, I'm inviting and interviewing some of the people that are going to be there at the presentation. Uh, our in-house tarot reader. Uh, our in-house um, body masseuse to help you... Uh, do the chakras and align and all of that. Uh, also, um, I'm going to try and get our regression therapist here so we can interview her as well. So y'all know kind of what all's going on. There's going to be a lot going on. Um, I think that's about all I wanted to cover. It's just to be ready because this eclipse is a lot more than we think it is. It's a warning. It's a sign. And it's not a good one. It's, it's a last plea for America to get her shit together. And if you're like me, you look around and pretty much America's gone to hell in a handbag for a few decades now. Uh, especially since all the eclipse rituals and the 9-11 eclipse ritual. Uh, that's when they really ramped it up. But everything, everything they've done, everything they continue to do, even the Super Bowl, all this battle of fire and ice is an eclipse ritual. It is fire the triangle pointed up and water the triangle pointed down, which represent the sun and the moon. Uh, it's not what we think it is. Uh, now, those two symbols, the two triangles, they represent... Asia and Europe, uh, but the call is to America. America has been the hub of what you would call evangelism uh, since its foundation, really. It was, it's considered a Protestant nation at one time. Uh, now we are just a nation of debauchery. Uh, it's quite saddening really as to what's happened uh, and how we've fallen apart so quickly and uh, we tend to be on this downward spiral uh, how much lower can you go pretty damn low uh, just when you think it can't get any worse it does well you know when 
when the universe reveals to you things like the symbolism of this ritual, this eclipse ritual, it's there to warn you. Uh, you're being called out to be part of that. Can we stand in the gap? That's what we're all called to do. It was what I was told to do as a child in the cotton field when my third eye opened, that I stand in the gap for you between life and death. If you care so little for the life you're given, why not give it for a cause? Uh, and we stand in the gap for others. And that's going to be a lot of what this is, this uh, gathering that we're going to do. It's not going to be just to learn about eclipses and symbolism. It's not going to be just to watch the eclipse. It's going to be a place that we can gather, meet and know each other, and that we can stand in the gap. That we can be that, that line between the dark and the light. And that we can make a difference. If you've ever wanted to be a part of something that could actually help change, help toe the line, help make a real difference. This is going to be it. Now, I've had dreams my whole life. I came back to Oklahoma after 9-11 and reestablished here because I knew this was where I was supposed to be. Uh, at the time, I knew nothing about the occult. I knew nothing about astrology. I knew nothing about anything. I just knew that I've been having these dreams my whole life, and I knew this is where I was supposed to be. And I was 20 years ahead of myself. Uh, I'm here now, and this is exactly where I'm supposed to be. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind about that. Uh, and unfortunately, I do know what's coming. Because I've dreamed it over and over. And I've posted these dreams on my channel several times. I have mentioned them. And I've talked about them. And what's coming. And this third eclipse is our third strike. We're not going to get another chance in America. Uh, every time... Uh, we've had these sets of eclipses twice before in America since its founding. Uh, the first time it happened uh, right after the Revolutionary War, when we're founding America, uh, or the Declaration of Independence, rather. And the second time was at the American Civil War. And this is strike three. This is the third time for America for this to happen first in the 17th century, and then the 18th century, and now in the 20th century, that this is all going to occur for us. Actually, it's the 21st century now, isn't it? Uh, but we're going to go over that. We're, and when we do the presentation on uh, Eclipse Day, we're going to go over every bit of this in detail, in depth. Uh, you're welcome to record it. Again, if any of you have any recording equipment and would like to volunteer your services to record it uh, so we can upload it to YouTube, I would be grateful. Uh, but you are free to record it for yourself and put it on your channels or share it if you like. All right, I think I've about covered everything. I, I am very grateful to those of you who donated on my last video. Uh, one of you were very generous with me, and I have my vehicle reinsured, uh, registered, back on the road. Uh, unfortunately, when I did get it back on the road, one of the first things I noticed was I'm driving around on Maypops, which I was not aware of. Uh, I haven't bought tires for it since I first got it, and I put a lot of miles on it. And I've been good about keeping up the oil changes and all of that, but it just tires never occurred to me. And uh, I noticed that, wow, I've got one tire that has literally zero tread. So I'm going to get that taken care of this week as well. And I really appreciate all of your help. I couldn't have done it without you. Uh, things have been really, really tight for me. But things seem to be getting better. I had like a three-month lull from uh, literally around Halloween 
for November, December, and January were just awful. Uh, I struggled every every turn, uh, but things are improving greatly. Uh, the weather's good right now. I'm fixing to kick my garden off this week and get that my seedlings all started up and everything. So I'm really excited about that because I lost my garden twice last year and literally just was so depressed about that. But this year, I actually have hope for it. I have hope for my garden this year. And I'm really excited about that. I will try to keep you posted. Again, those of you who want to stay in Tallahena, Hootie Creek, when you go online, it's going to tell you there are no rooms available. But there are 10 rooms set aside for us. You must call and make your reservations over the phone and tell them you're coming in uh, for the eclipse and uh, they will take your reservation over the phone all right people i love y'all bunches you know what to do commit those random act of kindness all this is going to pay off all these random act of kindnesses you've been doing for years now are going to pay off right here because it's all about nineveh when you got eight cities Name Nineveh during an eclipse. I, I would say that's a warning. Uh, and I'll repeat them. Nineveh, Texas. Nineveh, Missouri. Nineveh, Indiana. Nineveh, Pennsylvania. Nineveh, Ohio. Uh, Nineveh, Virginia. Nineveh, New York. And Nineveh, Nova Scotia. How much more of a warning do we need? Let's get it right this time. A lot of people don't understand what the eclipse is or what's really going on. But this time, we actually have a chance to make a difference. And I'm not going to let that chance pass me by. I feel like I've been preparing my whole life for this. That it is my chance to stand in the gap between the light and the darkness. Won't you stand with me? I appreciate you all so much. If this channel has helped you, won't you consider being a sponsor or making a donation and help me keep bringing videos to you?